Today I wanted to work out whether or not you can heat up a cold cup of coffee in the ember mug. So we can see that the ember's fully charged, that's why the green light's there. But if we go onto my phone, we can also see battery level is 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off the charger and pour this in. Now I know that the ember mug won't naturally heat up your coffee or tea or drink or anything if it's under 40 degrees Celsius or around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The heater just won't turn on. But I worked out a little hack the other day using the app. We can see heat is off. It's around 11 degrees. It's probably colder than that because it's been in the fridge. But what we do is if we actually slide this along from heater off and we set, usually I like 52 and a half degrees Celsius. Previously, the heater would actually turn on and you can tell that it's turned on when you get a little white light here. Okay, so we can see that the white light is on, it's flashing, that means it's actively heating. And if we have a look at the phone, we can see, okay, it's now going up. It's gone up from 11 to 14, 14.5, 15. Okay, it's actually going up way quicker than I expected. Uh oh, now it thinks it's empty. Let's try and bump this up to 53. We are getting some progress. It's still very cold. We can see that this is going up. So for those of you who like life in Fahrenheit, we can go ahead and change this to Fahrenheit and we can see our goal is 127. Let's go ahead and make that, you know, 130. And it's currently 67, 68 going up. It's been a couple of minutes now. And this is actually going faster than I expected. Not super fast, much quicker to put it in the microwave, but you can't put the M bar in the microwave. I think we can see down here, see how it's lighting up. It's kind of pulsating there. I think that definitely means that the heater is on. We are making slow progress upwards. I wonder what it's doing to the battery. We can see that it's really going to strip the battery life. So I think should be able to heat it up, but I don't think we'll have much battery left at the end of it. Obviously, if you're using it on the charging plate, then it would definitely be able to heat it up and it would still have battery. I'm gonna go grab my tripod. Oh, I was away from this for one minute, if that, and it's now changed to empty. So let's again, change the temperature, which should turn it back on. It's now dropped down. I thought it was up around 80. It's now down to 64. Let's set up this tripod and see if we can get this to heat up. Come on, Ember. Okay, another 30 seconds and it's switched to empty again. It's not liking me, but I feel like if we manually keep doing it, we can heat this up. This would definitely not be the easiest way to do it. I would recommend put your coffee in a different cup, go ahead, put it in the microwave, Heat it up that way or use a stove and then pop it in your ember, at least when it's closer to your desired temperature. I'm just gonna keep flicking this backwards and forwards to keep it going. I think it's just really struggling because it doesn't like heating things under 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe once we get over 100, we'll be fine. So if you start with it in the fridge, not ideal. Room temperature would be much closer to that 40 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it would've got there quicker. I've slid it up to the hottest temperature because in theory I would think that would make the hot plate the hottest, which would warm it up, but that's just kind of freaked it out. It doesn't seem to like the higher ranges here. We've reached the 10 minute mark. Now it's definitely warming up. It was stone cold from the fridge when I put it in here. Now it's starting to feel more room temperature, like if I got it out of the tap. Not that you ever get coffee out of the tap, but more room temperature now. So it is warming up, but Every 30 seconds or so, this seems to turn off. I'm just wondering what's gonna happen once we get over 100. So I'll keep fiddling with it till we get over 100 and then see if we're in the clear from there. Honestly, if I wasn't doing this for the video, I would have given up long ago. It doesn't seem to make much sense when it decides to turn off. I don't know if there's a set timer, 15, 30 seconds, and then it just turns off. Why is it saying empty? It's clearly not empty. Look how not empty this is. What I'm trying to do now is just regularly move the mug because it does have a movement sensor in there which helps it to stay on. So I'm hoping if I move it around like this, it's not gonna turn off. We have reached the 100 degree mark. We can see it's now changed color from gray to orange, which I think means we'll have an easier time from here on out. So let's put that to the temperature I like around 133, 130, let's, we'll do 135. 
No, it's gone down. Okay, let's keep tapping. Come on, Ember. You can do it. Get over 100. There we go. We're getting close to where I want to have it now, but I thought it was interesting because it did say 130 or over 130 here, but when I felt it, it definitely wasn't at that point yet. So I don't know if the thermometer is further down, closer to where the heater is and it just you know wasn't registering but once i kind of mixed it we can see that it's gone back down and it still needs a bit to go okay so we can see that now it says your perfect temperature has been reached 135 enjoy okay that only took about half an hour 40 minutes in order to get to let's have a look at the battery life we can see battery levels going from 100 percent down to 33%, 32 now. Let me just test this, see if it tastes good. Look, it's still not as hot as I would probably like, to be honest. Let's change this back to Celsius. Yeah, this is not at 57 all over at the moment. I just, I, I know my coffee, I know what 52 feels like. This is not 57. Look, maybe it is. it's close, but it's, not quite exactly what it said. So can you warm up your coffee in your Ember mug? Yes, you can, but it is laborious, time consuming. If it's below that 40 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you can see we had to fiddle a lot with the phone or wiggling this around just to stop it from turning off. Once it's over 100, it did it okay. But it's freaking out now as well. Um, but yeah, it just took so long to do it. It's totally not worth it. What I would do in future is just, you know, put it in here. I would put this in the microwave. I would heat it up nearly to where I want it to be. And then, and then once we're nearly where we want to be, I'd put it back in and Ember can do a couple of degrees fine, but when you're trying to do it from straight out of the fridge all the way up to good drinking temperature, it just took so long. It used so much of the battery. And this is still saying empty. Why are you saying empty? So I do not recommend heating up your coffee using the Ember mug. It's just not worth the time and the effort.